Generation 9 is by far the worst hero generation state of survival has ever seen. Going from Generation 8, a pretty decent generation of heroes, it was a big shock for people to see such terrible heroes released right afterwards. In today's video, I want to warn you for not buying or investing general fragments into these heroes. Rally leaders. Unfortunately you don't have a choice. You need these heroes for the attack and defense boosts in your rally. A big thanks to Kratos team for making this video possible. Make sure to pop in their discord server and come say hi. Remember that all skills in the game are wrongfully word or flat out false. These are the correct ones. Be mindful that all values of the skills are calculated on a level 5 skill set for all 3 skills. The infantry hero of this generation, Derek, is possibly the worst of the bunch. It is a big downfall from Generation 8's a hero, Hank. Whom is loved by the community for his very good skill set and is still used in Gen 10's setup for garrisoning towers or the capital during Capital Clash. Let's dive into his skills. His first skill, Whizbang Blast, deals an additional 300% and 48% damage to the target every 5 rounds. Croc Death Roll, Derek's second skill increases damage of all troops by 11% while enemy infantry is alive. This process happens every round until all the infantry of the enemy is dead. His final skill, Nature's Revenge, restores 125% infantry health of his own damage every 4 rounds. A maxed Derek offers you a 1030% attack and defense boost and has the rally and siege buff. Now, what does this mean exactly? Derek boosts the troop lethality stat by 21.15% when performing a rally. The siege buff lowers the enemy settlement troop lethality by 31.8%. If we look at Derek's usefulness in other parts of the game we have to conclude that he is generally speaking not very good. Essie is a very complex hero and has a complicated skill set. Good rider heroes are very scarce in the game already and unfortunately Essie is not exception to this rule. Her first skill, Bottle Chugger, deals an additional 80% and 50% damage to the target every 4 rounds of battle. Bear Companion, her second skill, deals an additional 15% damage to the target every 4 rounds. Her third skill must be the most broken skill in the history of State of Survival. Now, pay attention. Her third skill on LVL5 reduces damage of all enemy troops by 15% and reduces damage done of her own riders by 5% every 5 rounds. The same skill on level 3 reduces damage of all enemy troops by 10% and increases damage of riders by 40%. Now, what does look better to you? Exactly. The level 3 skill. Basically, Essie is worse when all skills are level 5 if you take the cost-reward ratio into consideration. As a garrison hero, Essie on itself would be best on 5, 5, 3. However, it's still best to use Joker in this situation. The question is if it's worth it to max out Essie purely for garrisoning purposes. You might as well use any other hero as long as they have all level 5 skills. The level of Joker, the hero you're resonating him with does not matter in this situation. As a rally hero, it's best to resonate her to Joker. The higher level he is, the better Essie will perform. For this instance, you'd want Essie on 5, 5, 5. Essie doesn't have terrible skills for trap, but Tweak is still king. Hunter hero, Arthur, is not a very strong hunter hero, however has an interesting skill set. His first skill, Knuckle Sandwich, deals 24% additional damage to the enemy infantry and 8% damage to all enemy troop every 3 rounds. Flaming Spitball, his second skill, increases damage of all troops by 7.5% while hunters are alive. Finally his third skill, Late Bloomer increases damage of hunters to all enemy troops by 3% and increases damage of riders and infantry troops by 10%. Arthur has pretty good skills for low-level trap, due to his skills activating at least every 3 rounds and are all damage-based skills. However, Makoto's skills are better in this instance. For high-level trap, he will be outperformed by both Makoto and Generation 8's a hunter hero Tina. Arthur has the patrol and rally buff. This means that Arthur is not a bad hero to put on your barricade, due to his 63% troop settlement health boost. I hope you can see why this generation is a pretty bad generation of heroes in state of survival. As a rally leader, you'll still have to max them out. 
To finish off our video, I'd like to take a look at the best setups and formations for this generation in a new battle engine environment. If you're initiating a rally, Derek, Joker, Resonated to Essie and Arthur are the heroes you should pick. Based on the testing from Kratos' team, a 65, 15, 20 formation is best. Keep in mind that this is based on maxed out heroes. If you are garrisoning a building, a tower or capital for example. Hank, Joker and our Queen Roxy are the way to go. A 60, 15, 25 formation will be best. Keep in mind that Reservoir Raid and Showdown work in a different battle engine. Daryl and Joker will outperform Arthur and Essie here. Now, if you're curious for Generation 10, make sure to check out this video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.